Hello everybody, Daryl Vance here, EAK Farm. So I'm behind on my to-dos and uh, as you can see here, let me turn this camera As around. you can see here, I put some new compost. This is broke down manure, wood chips, uh, and just uh, decomposing stuff. It's been broke down and I put it in my raised bed. Well, what we use this raised bed for it's the same thing we used it for last year, and that is, let me get them here and show you, garlic. So once again, I'm going to give a shout out to my buddy, Randy Blankenship. He hooked me up with several bulbs of garlic last year. So last year's crop yielded this. Now these, are, these come in big bulbs, but I broke them apart. Each one of these little, I don't know what you call it, a clove maybe? Each one of them will make a new bulb. And the bulbs will have three, four, five more clothes. So I'm gaining every year as I go. But what we're going to do, we're going to smooth this all out. And uh, we're going to plant that garlic. So... Okay, I skipped out. I figured you all didn't want to watch a fat bald headed guy that needs a shave plant a bunch of garlic, but anyway. So, uh, well, I couldn't have timed that no better. I get it planted and the Lord provides a little bit of rain. See if we can get that garlic jump started. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful day. Even the rooster thinks so. Uh, I just want to praise God for this wonderful day. It's my favorite time of the year. I love being outside this time of year. Leaves changing color. The weather's cooling off. You can stand it. So uh, I'm outside doing some things. Uh, there's a gentleman I want to give a big shout out to. Uh, he, <clears throat> I haven't actually physically met him in person, but I've uh, conversed with him through text and he likes and follows all my stuff, YouTube and, and uh, TikTok. And uh, <clears throat> his name's Randy Blankenship. And he does a lot of things the old-timey way, like like we like it. And uh, we're trying to do and learn. And uh, Anyway, he sent me some garlic. And it's about time to plant the garlic here in our area, according to what I've read and what he's told us. So... <clears throat> I'm probably going to plant some garlic today and hopefully I do it right and hopefully it'll prosper and do well. Uh, I've been working on our uh, uh, raised bed where we tried our potatoes. The potatoes grew good, but it just ain't, they ain't doing like they should. So we're probably not going to use that raised bed for potatoes no more, but I think it'd be great for something like garlic or maybe some herbs. So, uh, Anyway, let's get started. So, as you can see, I got a few straggler taters here that I missed whenever I dug them. But uh, I got a lot of clay in there. So I'll be trying to bust that up into smaller pieces. And uh, I've been stirring it around this morning, flipping the dirt. Uh, I'll be getting that ready. I'll probably put a little more uh, compost right on top. In fact, I'll probably just put the... Uh, garlic in there and then cover it with compost i got some good fine scrapings off the feedlot there's a lot of hay a lot of manure and uh just trampled stuff that uh, i could sprinkle right on top and it should drain good anyway I wonder if this is what they call hard stem. Remember, we was watching that video this morning. Well, maybe you know it down there. I was watching it. And they said the stem passes all the way through it. Did you watch it? No, I didn't watch it. I bet it was this. On your phone, huh? It was on your phone, remember? Mm, you might have been sitting there. I don't know. I'm 
bust these clothes up. I'll plant them half a while. So, so that stem passes all the way through. I'll have to go back in that video I watched and see, but I think they said that there's two different kinds of garlic, a soft stem and a hard stem. I think that hard stem is what passes all the way through like that does. I just eat garlic. Well, garlic's definitely good for you. So here's some garlic that uh, my wife had to cook with. She bought from the store, and it don't have that stem. So that must be the other type of garlic versus the type that Randy gave us that has the stem. I'll have to do my research on that. I don't want to be misleading. So what I read, the sharp part goes up and the flat part goes down. And according to Mr. Blankenship and what I read also, that needs to be about six inches apart. So I'm going right in here and just kind of eyeballing it. Sharp part up. He gave me a good start. Big plan. Well, back to the business at hand. Um, so there's two different types of garlic that I have messed with personally. There may be more, I'm not a botanist, I don't know. But uh, Mr. Blankenship, uh, the <clears throat> garlic that he gave me done really well last year i had doubled or tripled my my crop for this year and had a little bit to spare to another one of my friends so i'm passing it forward paying it forward as they'd say uh, we come up to feed the cows but i thought i'd try to finish my video with some nice cattle in but the background are eating and uh it's a raining and the sun's out so you know those saying about that is is when it rains and the sun's out it'll rain this time tomorrow which don't surprise me Lord, I want to pray for all those further south that got hammered. It's terrible, terrible. With uh, Hurricane Helene. Anyway, <clears throat> so we got the garlic planted. I think you're supposed to plant it in September. And I'm late, so it's October. Uh, and then it sets all winter. And then you harvest again in the summertime, late summer. So, oh well, midsummer probably. So uh, we got it planted. Uh, like I said, triple probably what I had last year. Uh, I never done nothing different. I broke the clothes apart. I left the thin layer of, it's almost like paper, but it's uh, the outside layer. I left that on, I didn't take that off. And I planted it with the sharp point up. Not that I think that that would even matter. But, uh, so keep your fingers crossed. We'll see how it does here in a few months.